Okay, so a lot of y'all have been asking how much I make while sailing, so this is the video for you. Check it out. For a military seal of command, you get paid bi-weekly, which means you get paid every two weeks, and um, depending on who you bank with, you're either going to get it Thursday or Friday. With that being said, I'm going to break down exactly what I've made. But remind you, my net won't be the same as your net. Our gross may be the same, but my net may not be the same as your net, and your net may not be the same as my net. Obviously, when I say net pay, is that's how much hits my account. So, with all that being said, let's get to it. So, right here. OTN is pretty much your overtime hours. That's how much hours of overtime I got. And then the PTN is penalty pay. And then, I believe STN is... I'm not 100% positive what this is what this is. These are the exact amounts. You know what I'm saying? So the overtime right here, more money, penalty pay and your straight time. So that came to a gross of This mind you, this is my first week up here. All right, that was my first week. That came to a gross of 2500. Now with that, that was just my first week on board, literally nine days of work. So that was about $2,500 for the pay period that ended on March 12th. My second paycheck, and like, like I said, I'm missing some of my pay stubs, or my pay stubs, my time sheets. So I'm just showing y'all what my paychecks are with these few time sheets that I have. Well, I should have four paychecks. So this is what this next one was. It's a little bit more, so here you go. IHP, which I believe is, I don't even wanna lie to y'all. I'm not 100 sure what IHP stands for, but this is OTN, that's um, my overtime. This is penalty, and penalty is like, if you take out the, for me, if I take out the trash, but I have to go all the way to the pier, that's technically a penalty pay. So you can get that like an hour every day. You know what I'm saying? And then this is the your straight time. STN is your straight time. So you always get 112 hours of straight pay. So yeah, that's what it meant. 112 hours of straight pay. And then down here, you got your other stuff, like other things you get paid for. So this is the dollar amount of your overtime, which was $27.65. And my penalty pay is twelve dollars or twelve dollars, twelve hours, which was one hundred and twenty-two, and then my straight pay is one hundred and twelve. So that came to a gross of forty-three eighty-six. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can get paid for that they'll throw in. If you're, like I said, if you have a good, whether it be if you're. If you're in a supply department or steward department, if you have a good suppo or a supply officer or a chief steward, they may throw in extra hours for you. You know what I'm saying? To just be like, hey, go, go wipe the mirrors or something like that. He may just say some bullshit like that, but he really just said, hey, go duck off. I'm going to give you an extra hour. You know what I'm saying? Or go do something small like, hey, can you mop that floor over there? And then I'm going to give you, I'm going to throw you an hour for the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Just stay on board. So it looks like you did some work, you know? So a lot of times for our company, that's how it is. You get, but don't get me wrong. You may get some chief stores that are completely by the book. He's going to give you exactly what you're supposed to get. And that's it. No more, no less. Now, those guys are cool. But at the same time, you don't want someone that's completely by the book. You want someone that's like, he's pretty chill, laid back, don't really worry about too much, but he doesn't mind paying you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it also comes down to the captain. If the captain is like very, uh, how do I say, stingy with the money, then he's going to go comb through every single like hour of OT that you get. No matter every hour, he's going to come through every single one of them for everybody on board. And then, like I said, there may be ships that there's 50 people on board. He's going to look at every individual's um, OT hours. So he may take three, four days looking at every single person's OT hours. 
or you got some captains that will just whatever your specific department head which for me is the supply officer he'll look at the supply officer be like hey is this good for you and then he'll be like yep and the captain will sign off on it so like i said if you have if you get lucky you get a chill captain and a chill department head whether it be supply officer or um, chief engineer or chief mate which is deck department also but chief mate and they're all cool and they all want to give out as much money as possible then that's the one time you've been making up as much money as possible so i know one of my friends he was like man the chief engineer was just throwing money at us and he's uh he's one level above like entry level but he was seeing like sixty five hundred seven thousand dollar checks obviously gross but he was seeing like seven thousand dollars and he's just one level above uh entry level and then but the chief engineer was throwing them money like they were i mean they were working hard but they were every hour that you can get he was getting it so he was seeing like seven thousand dollar checks sixty five hundred dollar checks and this is not an officer this is just regular un enlisted engine utility you know what i'm saying so there's definitely money to be made out here but um let's keep going so the next check that i got that ended on the april 9th so let me show you here as y'all said as, as i said earlier you got hp overtime penalty pay and straight pay so dollar amounts 300 and overtime i got 25 hundred dollars of overtime pay and penalty 122 and your regular straight pay 1196 that came to a gross of 4200 4205 now that i know you've seen these checks and you're like wow he makes a crazy amount of money mind you this is gross depending what state you live in depends how much you can take home now don't get me wrong it's not going to be an outrageous difference, but it could be the difference between I took home 2,800 and you took home 3,000. You know what I'm saying? So it could be, it could be like a couple hundred dollar difference. Sometimes, sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. I don't know what's the science behind it, but I know some places don't have any state tax like Florida. So they may make an extra hundred dollars than me. I don't know. I live in Virginia and you know Virginia is gonna tax everything you make. So <laughs> yeah. And then I believe this is the last check. Yep. The very last paycheck was the pay period on April 23rd. Um, let's check it out. Okay. So yep, high HP, three hundred dollars, overtime rate twenty three hundred, penalty was eighty one dollars, and then your straight pay as always 196 and here's the dollar amount for all of those and then this was my gross there you go 3808 i did make less than my from my last pay period but that was because i wasn't waking up i was i'm not doing the 5 30 i'm coming in at 6 30 and um i was still doing sanitations but i wasn't coming on coming in at 5 30 anymore so Okay, so for the supply department for us, the hours are 0630 to 1830. So that's your working hours. Now, obviously, you're not working straight through the entire time. So what they would do for someone in my position, you'll get the from 0530 to 0630. That's one hour. Then from 13, 1300, so one o'clock in the afternoon or 1.30 in the afternoon to 3.30 in the afternoon. That's two hours. And then, what else, what else, what else? I believe you get one more hour, I think at 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. So I I know you typically get about four hours a day. Um, and then you have your sanitations, which is the deep cleaning days. So you'll get an extra like three hours for that. And then the weekends is all overtime. So for, I believe weekends are 16 hours. So for 16, you get 16 hours. Anything, anything you work on a weekend is overtime. So that's how you get all that overtime. Now, some ships, 
the whether it be the chief steward or the chief engineer or the chief mate i know some of my friends would be like the chief engineer would be would be like hey on the weekends y'all don't come in you know what i'm saying you're only gonna do so as you they may not make any money so i mean but some of them is cool i'm like okay especially if you're in a ship in norfolk or you're in a ship at home or in the states you're like okay cool i can take the whole weekend off so friday night like let's say you live in south carolina and then so i know some of my friends when i was on some other ships when we was based in norfolk they would almost every other week every friday night when they got off they would drive to south carolina to be home for the weekend and then they'll come back sunday night and then they would do that every weekend so they didn't mind losing the money the ot on the weekend me if i don't do the weekends my paychecks will there will be a tremendous tremendous difference you know what i'm saying and i can't i don't want to take that i don't want to eat that so i always come in on all weekends um unless like i've been on the ship for like seven eight months and i'm like okay i made my money so i'm really just and i'm still but i still plan on making more money but i'm I've made enough to where I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable. I'm on track of what I need. So I may take a weekend here and there, be like, hey, I want to go, let's say we're in Gaeta. Like, hey, we want to go to Rome. So we'll take the whole weekend off, go to Rome. You know what I'm saying? I'll do stuff like that. And that's kind of like, I know a lot of guys when they come in, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try to make as much money as possible. I ain't taking no days off, blah, 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 blah. You, everybody says that. And don't get me wrong, I did that my first year. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really take any days off, but once you start having the money and you start making the amount that you are making and you set your finances up correctly, you're going to start taking days off. It's just it's just obvious. You're going to want to take days off cuz this job is 7 days a week. 7 days a week, 4 weeks a month, 52 weeks a year you know what i'm saying 12 months a year you can work every single day of your life you know so the money's always going to be there so when i say some people be taking time off you take time off like me i took all of 20 was it 2021 off i got home march 2021 i stayed home all the way up until february of 2022 I took that whole year off because just because I was I was on the ship for a whole year and I didn't want to come back. So, yeah, you're going to take your time off once you start making the money, no matter what position you are. Obviously, the higher position you are, the more money you're going to make. But once you start making this money, you're going to realize how easy it is to save up, especially when you go overseas, how easy it is to save up and how easy it is for you to be like, I'm going to I'm going to need to take some time off. And how quickly time flies so the money's great you can do a lot of things with the money but like i said money's not everything so you're gonna realize after you've been in for a couple years you're gonna be like okay i want to take some time off i want to do some other stuff you know what i'm saying and then but this is really a good stepping stone but um this is pretty long video this is really just me talking um i love y'all uh definitely if you want to be out here, hit me up, tell me, or not tell me, look at my other videos, check out exactly everything that I be doing. I uh, freaking love y'all. And ev thank you for everybody that supports my channel. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this helps any of y'all that had any questions about how much you make. And I know this video was lengthy, but uh, I love y'all. For real, I love y'all.